everyone, it is Shipwreck Smith here, and today I'm going to be talking about something that I think is really important to talk about that not a lot of people really do talk about, and that is sometimes when you draw, you're not going to like it. And not just like the process, it's not like you just don't enjoy drawing in general, but you're not always going to like the finished result of the drawings you create. And I feel like not enough people talk about this subject when you get really discouraged because you had this great idea in your head, but then you go to create it and it just doesn't look good when it's on paper and it can get really discouraging. And I just wanted to take an opportunity to talk about the fact that that is okay. It is okay to not be happy with a piece of artwork. The important thing is, is that you still created something anyway. Like with this drawing, I don't like how it turned out, but I didn't just quit halfway through. I still completed the drawing and I still got my practice in. And so I think it's important to not just abandon a drawing because you don't like how it's looking, I think it is good to push through it and still complete the drawing because you could still learn something from it. Um, I had, I didn't really have much in mind when it came to this drawing when I started it. I just knew I wanted to draw something and I knew it would only take about an hour because I normally only spend about an hour on these illustrations and I just wanted to create something and so I thought I wanted to create some sort of sea creature and I didn't have a lot of direction for it. and. That might be part of the reason I don't like how this illustration turned out, but regardless, I just want to say it's okay if you don't like a piece of your artwork. Now, if you just aren't happy with anything you are creating, you might want to take a step back, evaluate what you're doing, think about the parts of your illustrations that you don't like, and try to tweak or improve those areas if you're just not happy with anything that you're creating. Or that could just be the result of being in an art block because art block does happen even if some people think it don't exist and some people think it does. Um, it really is just, it, it does happen. Sometimes you're just not going to be happy with anything that you do and in those cases you just need to take a breather. But in my situation I wasn't in an art block, I just felt like creating something and I wasn't happy with the result and that's perfectly fine. Um, I just wanted to... Let people know, you know what, it is okay to not be happy with something, but the point is, you do it anyway. <laughs> and I'm still really glad that I still finished this illustration. I still made something, I got it out of the way so I could move on to the next piece, but I mean, I'm just not a huge fan of it and that's fine, you know? I try to think uh, outside of the box when it came to the color palette because my default colors are blues and so I thought I would try to do something different. I normally do super saturated colors and so I was trying to think of a different idea of what direction to go. I don't like the color purple. <laughs> it's really my least favorite color and so I thought I would use purple in this illustration to get out of my comfort zone. I'm wondering if that's part of the reason I don't care for the illustration because it has a color I don't really care for. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the color. I don't know, I just don't care for it. It's just, it doesn't really matter what shade I do of purple, I just don't really like it. And so, I, you, you can see, I kept changing the shades of the color to get something I liked, and maybe part of the reason I don't like it is I also am not a huge fan of pastel color palettes. It just doesn't work for my art style specifically. Other people pull off pastel really well, and I can really appreciate it, but when it comes to my art, it doesn't really work, and I don't even know if you can call this pastel, but it's somewhat pastel. I don't even know. I just use purple to shade everything to try and make it look co more cohesive, and I'm just proud of myself for still completing this drawing and not getting super frustrated with it and just telling myself, even if I don't like the finished result, I'm going to create it anyway, because it doesn't take a huge amount of time to begin with. For me, and people might say, whoa, an hour, is that so, that's so fast, how do you do that? Well, it's all about, you know, having a system down for your drawings and having a systematic way of doing it and also not trying to make it perfect. And I can make a whole different video on that if you guys want, talking about drawing 
creating drawings more quickly and more efficiently, so let me know in the comments. If you guys want me to make a video about that, I might do that. But that's not really what this video is about. It's more about the fact that because I knew it would only take me an hour to do a drawing, I could just sit down for an hour and create something new. And so that was my goal, and I completed that goal, and so I'm still happy that I did it. So it all depends on the mindset you're in when you're creating artwork, because you can sit down and think I'm going to create amazing masterpiece and not get there and be upset about it or you can just tell yourself I'm going to create something and it doesn't really matter how it turns out. But now we're at the end of the video. I hope this was encouraging to you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Friday and Sunday. And so that is all I have for you guys today and I will see you guys in the next video.